excited to share uh, some of our new renovations that we've been doing at Mountain View Japanese. If you've already been to the social hall, you might have noticed already that our floor is new, the vinyl and the carpet. Now, we've also done some other renovations um, in the church, so come with me. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you can see, it used to be white with a tint of moldy, <laughs> which made it kind of gray, but now we actually painted, redid the whole thing, and now it looks beautiful in a gray uh, silicon coating. And now, this is the most recent project that we're trying to do. Um, I'm going to have John Frey come up here and share a little bit about our plumbing issues that we've had. The history of this church goes back to the early 1970s and that's how old this plumbing is. And we've kind of patched it here and there and tried to um, make it work for all these decades. But unfortunately now, it has come to a head and we really need to replace the sewer lines. Many of you have known for the last few years, we have had issues with the women's bathroom plugging up and causing a backflow. We snaked it out. You can see right here, this is where they would come in and snake it out. But it has come to the point that even snaking it out doesn't work anymore. The iron cast sewer lines are now cracking. When we camered this, it went fine to a certain degree, even though the plumbing pipes were old, until we got here. Once we got here, there was a 90 degree uh, turn in the pipe, and then it drops six feet down. That 90 degree turn should ne never have been there. It should have been maybe a 45-45 a slight turn because when the sewage comes out, it hits a 90 degree and it blocks. And thus we had to snake it before. That worked for a while until the, the pipe down here collapsed uh, at it. We couldn't get the camera to go beyond the collapsed pipe. This one section alone is costing the church $18,500. It is not cheap because they have to cut the concrete, they have to dig, and then they have to reconnect the pipes. The second phase of this is shooting straight down all the way to Rangsdorf. We're hoping that this pipe that goes straight down is still workable. We're not really sure. And we won't find out until we dig six feet in this area and then run another camera straight down uh, to Rangstorf uh, Avenue. Thank you so much, John, for that summary of the sewage project. Uh, we need your help in order to finish these projects, um, to keep our buildings going and to um, use this place as a place of not only of worship, but for serving the community and also reaching out to people. If you would like to join us in this project and support the maintenance and upkeep of our church, you can do that uh, by going to mvjsd.com giving and going to the section on the building fund right here. Uh, your contributions will help us keep our church going. God bless.